Hello, hello, my dear friends, and welcome to Inside Out Electronic Channel. This is Uncle Misha, and today we have something different on a, on our bench or on the table, actually. So this is TIG A2300 reel-to-reel tape deck. I never ever owned a reel-to-reel tape deck. Well, apart one of those old Soviet era, my dad's um, reel-to-reel deck, which was very, very basic. Here is the photo. So, what the heck is this? This is a, a reel-to-reel deck from TIG, I think circa 1972, 70-72. It is, it supports seven inch, up to seven inch reels. I don't think it supported anything more than that. So as you see, it's relatively small distance between a, a reel and this, um, uh, reel holder and the spool. So it's, I have only two speeds, high and low, which seven and three, I think, inches per second. And it has three heads. It's only unidirectional. Um, what else is notable here? Then not much really. It has microphone, it has line output. Sorry, this is line input, I'm wrong. It has phones, which is good, and the, and the knob for it. Um, Obviously, being three head deck, it has the switch to the to switch between source and uh, a tape to monitor, and it has switches to record, you know, on channels. It has bias, two settings for bias, which is good. Let me go another side. It has a record button, which I actually don't know if it works. It has a lever over here, which is broken, unfortunately. Okay, but it is operational. So this something has to be replaced. It has buttons right here. And that's pretty much it. Here is capstan. So here's pinch roller, here's capstan. And here is supply and take up reel. I have only one of these, which is a little rough shape as well. As you see, it's quite dirty. And um, yeah, it's uh, in rough shape. So this guy, has uh, here is how heads look like by the way if you are interested what's the condition of the head i try to figure out if, if those are in decent decent condition and for example if i can uh, restore this deck to the former glory and for example make sure the heads are okay otherwise it's like all this my um my my efforts are futile because it's not gonna work properly anyways, but seems like it's in okay shape oh by the way i forgot to mention the level indicator which kind of Small and dinky, but here we are. This is what it is. We have level indicator here. It's like one a device rather than two, like in other decks. And the tape counter right in here, mechanical tape counter. And um, this is pretty much. It. Let's take a look what's on the back. Um, and uh, let's try to power it up. Honestly, just to be uh, straightforward with you guys, I already powered this up when I was obtaining it, and I know what's the problem, but. After all, we're still gonna power it up because in this particular case, all this stuff like don't turn it on, take it apart, it's not gonna work because I already powered it off. On, sorry, I already powered it on. Okay, okay, so here is back side of this guy. Um, not much really going on here. So they have regular RCA inputs and outputs, so left and right channel. We, ha they, we have also DIN output, a um, input, and output in same time. So this DIN output left, right, uh, ground, left, right. Uh, there is a fuse and the uh, voltage switch, which is awesome, grounding pin. Um, over here, it looks like someone already MacGyver something, some kind of contraption, because this is not, I don't think it's native cable right here, because here it's supposed to be completely different plug. Looks like plug was lost and someone MacGyver something. Here is the, serial number which is 14084 still doesn't say what here it was manufactured i see nowhere but it says t corporation product of japan 140 watts it's ridiculous a little bit ridiculous i must say and 10 to 24 volts so yeah it has universal voltage which is great there's a big opening right here and there I see behind it quite big fan so I assume that the it connected to the shaft of the capstan motor or the main motor we will we will see 
and uh, in probably just to ventilate uh, this device. There is a grills right here on top and there is I think the ones there are some on the bottom as well so essentially this is for circulation because 140 watts it's no joke that's quite uh, quite a bit so i did not expect that actually. i actually thought it's like you know 50 40 or whatever but it's 140. also i forgot to no notice uh, note um, in originally there is a wooden sides but those are not the wood it's uh, i think it's a um, uh, plywood so, so it's like OSB with veneer. It's yeah, it's not the uh, real wood. So it'll be nice to actually manufacture something because these planks are really, really beat up, and they are easy to unscrew. Just for screws on this side, four on this. Um, that's pretty much it. There is no anything else. This beast is, by the way, quite heavy. Uh, it's weighs probably 15 kilos, and yeah, it's uh, yeah something to maybe even more. It feels like it weighs probably I don't know close to 20 kilos. It's really, really heavy. Okay, so let's try to power it up and see what's gonna happen. Maybe we will play something, maybe not. Highly likely not, I'm telling you right away. But we're just gonna give it a shot. Oh, uh, because I actually cleaned up heads. Uh, in order to understand how bad are they, I had to clean them up. Okay, so I happen to have some tapes. I have no idea what on this, but well, according to the label, it says top 20, 1972 really nicely comes together with this deck which probably manufactured somewhere at the same time obviously and also need to take up real um, this is says Agfa but I don't think it is it is Agfa neat look at this I have this it's not even seven inch it's like five or something I have this Agfa like oh wow neat. I honestly I got not with this device uh, but I got like a whole box of these things, so I don't have no idea what on, on there. It's probably, this is one of the things which stimulated me to, to get one. And I got it for ab absolutely nothing. And uh, CTF uh, 500 Pioneer with it. So yeah, it was, it was, I just need to drive somewhere in a, in a countryside to actually pick this up. Took me quite, uh, quite a drive. Uh, but anyways, so let's try to thread this thing and uh, I honestly don't even know how to properly thread it. I uh, will try to figure out. Uh, we'll figure out together. I don't even have user manual. So we threaded the tape. Now just moment of truth. But again, I, I want to mention that I know. Oops, this is this is wrong. That's supposed to go like this, I think. Wow, that's moving too. Anyways, I know it's 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 power up. Oh wow, it's pretty noisy. Ooh, maybe bearing is Gonski. I'm not sure if you hear it. Okay, we'll figure this out. But at least capstan spins. That's a good one. So now it's in fast pause play. I'm not sure what again all this shit is. Okay. It goes to tape. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Whoa! Whoops. Well, that's what's happened when you don't have. Oh. Okay, that would la that was lame of me because I do not have a this second thingy, so I have to come up with something. So I'm gonna use this. Ta da! The best I could come up at the moment. All right. So it. Nice! Alright, now moment of truth. Uh, how the heck to put it to play? Uh, hmm. It's already in play. I have no idea, guys. Okay, I think I just figured it out. This guy is not engaging. So, okay, so that's... Uh, Forget it. So the, uh, essentially, that was in play. If it's in play and you press this button, it starts playing. If you are in fast and you press this button, it will be it will be rewinding or this way. Okay. If you play, you see it doesn't work that obviously because this is play, but it's not gonna play because this thing. Ah, 
yeah, stuck. And essentially is some other thing stuck there as well. So what we have to do, we have to fix it. So guys, I think I have another project and let's together try to revive this actually pretty cute guy uh, to its former glory. At least we will open it up and see how bad is it. If it's really bad inside, like cockroaches, spiders and mice, we all think twice. But if it's more or less okay, with a little bit of dust, there is no busted anything, we can try to revive it. So what do you think guys? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 